If you were asked to describe a computer system, you might quite rightly describe something like a desktop computer that has a keyboard and a monitor and a box of electronics that does processing and storing of the information. And we could think of it as <coughs> possibly a laptop device, a mobile computing device. Or more recently, we could think of devices that do, such as a smartphone or a tablet that perform the role of a computer. But what I'd like to do in this video is consider a computer as something a little bit different, as a model of the computer. Essentially what computers do is they process information. So obviously we're going to need to have some form of input into our system to provide the information. This could be things like keyboards, and mice, microphones, joysticks touch screens, etc. And then when the computer processes this information, normally done by the CPU, we can output the information to devices such as a monitor or a printer or a loudspeaker. A computer can also store information. This can be stored in the computer's memory, such as RAM and ROM, or permanently stored in devices such as hard drives or flash memory devices. Computers are also capable of communicating information onto networks such as, such as using modems or Ethernet. They can also use wireless such systems such as Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. This is just one model of a computer system. An alternative method is if we consider the computer to be a system with, of layers. At the bottom of the system, we have the hardware. These are the physical components of the computer system. Next, we would have the operating system. This is a piece of software, a set of computer instructions that allows us to control the computer. It will allow access for various programs to the hardware and at the top we have our application software. These are the programs that we typically buy a computer to, to use, such as office applications, etc. The user will actually interact with the system through the operating system. And as I say, this controls the computer by allowing applications to access the hardware.